Hi! In this video, I'll show you how to take your Smith Corona typewriter and turn it into a computer keyboard using the USB typewriter kit. This process will work on all kinds of Smith Corona typewriters, including the Sterling, Galaxy, Classic, and Silent Super. It will work on the Corsair and the Super G, but I don't recommend those models because it's hard to access the components underneath them. The only Smith Corona that will absolutely not work is the Skywriter. If your typewriter doesn't say Smith Corona, but just says Corona on it, that's a different brand of typewriter, and you'll have to consult a different video. Okay, let's get started with the conversion. The first step is, if there's a steel plate covering the bottom of your typewriter, you'll have to remove it. Just unscrew the top two screws, and then loosen the bottom two screws. The plate should slide out of place. Once the plate's been removed, you'll notice that there's two tabs that held the plate in place. Bend those tabs back out of the way so they don't interfere with our installation. Next, we're going to scratch away the paint from the keys. That will reveal a conductive metal surface that will make contact with our electrical circuitry later. You can use an emery board or a metal file. And if you have one, you can even use a Dremel tool. When you're done, about an inch and a half of paint will be removed from each key. Take a second to identify the crossbar on your typewriter. It's right there. We're going to make more room for our circuitry by bending the crossbar outwards with pliers. And on the other side. When you're done, about an eighth of an inch gap should exist between the crossbar and the hinge that it connects to. Next, take the strip of gold-plated contacts that came with your kit and slip it into the gap that you just created. Now, take the steel plate that came with your kit and use it to wedge the contacts into place. Next, prop up the typewriter against a wall or a heavy object so that you can look down at the work you just did. Next, use your finger and make a crease in the contacts, folding them down flat against the crossbar. They don't have to be perfectly flush against it, though. Before you go any further, make sure that each key lines up reasonably well with its corresponding gold-plated contact. Now that everything's lined up, we're going to glue the circuitry into place by laying down a bead of hot glue in between the contacts and the circuit board. Once the hot glue has been laid down, Wait about 30 seconds so that it can start to set. Then apply gentle upward pressure to the circuit board so that it dries in that position. You can also smooth down the contacts with your fingers as the glue dries. Next, take the four rubber bumpers that came with your kit and stick them onto the four white dots on the back of your control panel. Once they've been stuck in place, Add a bead of hot glue to either side of the control panel. Before the glue has a chance to set, attach the control panel to the back left side of your typewriter. Give the glue a few minutes to dry, and then take the flat gray cable that leads to the other circuit board and connect it to the lower right side of your control panel. It should click into place. Next, find a screw underneath your typewriter that's easy to remove. I like to use this one in the back. Once the screw's been removed, use a sharp tool like a metal file or an X-Acto knife to scratch off the paint. Once the conductive metal underneath has been exposed, take the green wire that came with your kit and screw it into place using the original screw. Now strip the other end of the green wire and then loosen the screw marked C on your circuit board. Insert the wire into that hole and then retighten the screw so that the wire stays in place. Congratulations! Your USB typewriter project is almost done. To finish the project up, you'll have to do one or two more steps, and to find those, please visit the link shown here. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your project!